The cultivation of soybeans has expanded rapidly over the past few years and will overtake the production of sunflower and wheat in the next five years in most of the summer grain producing areas. Belonging to the legume family, the soybean plant is able to bind its own nitrogen through the process of symbiosis with rhizobium bacteria and is therefore an excellent crop to include in a crop rotation system. So where do you start? There are some questions to be asked before planting soybeans. The most important being, do I have enough combine capacity to harvest the whole crop at the right time? Depending on climatic conditions, the capacity of a combine is between 25 and 30 hectares a day and the plantings need to be managed efficiently to prevent the soybeans from shattering before harvesting takes place. The choice and availability of cultivars is just as important and seed must be ordered as early as May or June. Due to the fact that inoculation with rhizobium bacteria is needed every year, inoculants must also be ordered well in advance of planting time. The cultivars you choose for planting must be well adapted to the region and should be planted in such a way that you will be able to extend the time for harvesting. If the crop is still planted under conventional tillage methods, it is important to prepare a level and firm seed bed, preferably using a tine implement fitted with rollers at the rear. If you do not have your own combine and have to make use of contractors, make sure they can harvest your crop at the right time. Soybeans differ in their resistance to shattering. Under certain circumstances, for example when rain falls at the time soybeans are ready to be harvested and it is followed by a very hot sunny day, most soybean cultivars will shatter. Always plant more than one cultivar in an attempt to increase harvest time and reduce risk. Some short season cultivars can be used very effectively to avoid sclerotinia where this disease is a problem.